I would like to say this is where my lighter thoughts are, but I don't think I have any. So, I am awake. I am aware. I am free. I am positive. I am abundant. I am spoiled. I am the creator. I love being aware. I love being free. I love being abundant. I love being spoiled. I love being the creator. I feel aware. I feel awake. I feel positive. I feel feel like the creator. As well as the fastest motherfucker on earth, either way. Now that I got through the intro, time to get to the poems. You know what? Even though I cut this off in the last session, I really feel as if this poem is something that shouldn't have just been cut off. I just want to see something. Just, is there a difference? I don't fucking know. I'm reading short and stuff. The judge said, I am enough. I am enough. For them, I'm, I'm not the right stuff. I am good. I am great. I am amazing. I am not always user friendly. Not just anyone can use me. I am smart. I am aware. <laughs> I care about me more than you. Sometimes I will go out of my way to help you. If I hurt you, it was only representations. If I hurt you, it was only reparation. That's why I fucked up the first time. I am vibrant. I am kind. I am fluid. I can be wrong. I can be weak. I can be dumb. Small instances I learn from my mistakes. I thought you were nice. I thought we would have a good time. I thought you better. Fact is stranger than fiction, like we are taught. I can't know everything. I don't want to know everything. I just want to know. I just want enough. I am enough. I am enough. Even if others don't agree, I am the only one that needs to sign off on me. I love me. I care for me. I value me. It's fine if you don't agree. I am enough. I am enough. Forget them. I love me. Next. I don't think I read these. I might have out flipping now. They learn to say such heavy words. Like, coming from others, it's weight to tank someone's mood. Enough power to lift most people up. They say it like it's greedy. They sprinkle it throughout conversations, making sure to end with it. I don't get it. Shouldn't you only say it when you mean it? Say it to those special few. Is it still special to hear when they say it so often? Say it so quick, it slides out your mouth so easily. I'm not envious. I just find it hard to believe. You say it so easily to them, so how am I special when you say it to me? Some thoughts should keep their power. Overusing certain words is abuse of power. You won't catch me tripping. Everyone sits at the same level in your reality. And I mean, for those that say, I love you to everybody and those that compliment everyone, like, it's just like, mm, I don't even know if it's special anymore. Cause like, you overuse them certain words. So it's like, how many times can you say something before it loses power? Essentially, what I was getting at. Which I kind of took off from another poet. I loved it when he said, I want to make my own iteration of it. Uh, what the fuck was his name? Phil K. Here we are. Uh, 11, 26, 23. Uh, the body's built to hide the kid inside. I became my ride or die learning young. Not all adults care about developing minds. Some can't keep their hands off of maturing bodies. Such a fragile place to be in a learning mind. Brought up in deception, violence, drugs. These adults didn't always give out appropriate kisses or hugs. So I have stories that I lived. Others can't believe. I didn't make it up. I wasn't lucky. To too uneducated to know better. I know my truth. Assume what you will. <laughs> I know graves I would party on. I refused to chill when I was too young. Too weak, uneducated, skilled. <clears throat> the kid was anyone's toy. My body's built like this because this is what I needed to protect me. A body fit with a mind that knew what inappropriate means. Yeah. 
Yeah, this was supposed to be an icebreaker for trying to communicate with people, like, when we match on a day and a half, but it never goes far. But, like, it works great as a poem, too. So, hi, I'm Ethan Florence Swarthout. I love weed, poetry, working out, and making videos. Hi, my name is Ethan Florence Swarthout, formerly known as Florian Oreo Bernard Janice. Born in Haiti, American raised, I enjoy po poetry, working out, making videos, and weed. Hi, they call me E, short for empty. Ethan Swarthout is my name. Finding a death partner is my game. The things I enjoy are poetry, the way words look great together. Weights are my favorite way to hurt my body. Weed is my escape from anarchy. Bye. <laughs> no need for introductions. So many ways to break the ice. No response is a response. The ice gets broken. But no fishes ever seem to want to bite. Either. This one's gonna be a little long one, so I'm gonna fuck it up. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you that. I don't know. One six twenty twenty three. Is there more to this? <laughs> not tempted by skin. The fragrance doesn't pull me in. I am not a man of flesh. I already had my fill of sex. Is she good for me? What does she do outside of draining me? My fluids, my funds, my fun. At least she's great at sex. Bring your own set. Stop looking through my shit. I'm already generous. Right throughout the giving. What good are you for me? Anybody can give me shucks. What's your art? Where's your mind? How do you enjoy your time? Does your anger destroy you recklessly? Do you feel safe with yourself? Do you trust me or trust you can rob me? Why this? Why me? How was your childhood? What's your relationship with your mom? How about your dad, aunt, uncle, siblings, grandparents? Have you been molested? Have you dealt with it? Why are you angry? How do you feel about paper? Would you have kids with me? Would you ever cheat on me? Would you ever lie to me? Would you ever try with me? Would you give me sex has never been a question. Is it worth it? I now find myself asking. Is she worth more than just a body to me? Could she answer any, if not all of these? I hate. I have broken myself to fix myself. Soft, beautiful skin means nothing if they have no brain. No fragrance will talk to me. It needs to be more than lust. I have had my fill of sex. <laughs> what is next? <clears throat> no place for an open heart.